So we have a default get method in, in our default values controller. So let's just try to execute this get API method and see what it returns. Right. So the response is in XML. So we don't want to work with XML. So I want to force Web API to send me the response only in JSON format. In this video, we will learn how to force Web API to send only JSON response. So let's go to this folder, Web API config. And um, we may have to import some of the modules such as uh, using um, system dot net dot http and using system dot net dot http dot headers so let's just scroll down and here we will add an attribute config dot formatters dot json formatter dot supported media types dot add okay new media type header value and inside that we'll write text slash html okay so that is all we need to write to force web api to send the response in json format only we'll also make some changes to the get method instead of returning um, a string list of strings let's return http response message okay and let's delete this um, we'll do some changes we'll create a data table and send the data table in json format as a response instead of uh, instead of a list of strings because we mostly deal with data table while uh, working with the sql uh, no getting data from sql we get it in the form of data table so we'll create a data table so we need a, to import a namespace using system.data so you can see that okay so we'll say data table dt equals new data table and we'll add two columns dt dot columns dot add we'll add a department id column we'll also add one more column columns dot add department name we'll add some rows as well dt dot rows dot add so we need to add department id we'll pass as one and for department name we'll say id we'll add one more row dt dot rows dot add two comma and department name let's add support fine now we'll return this data table and see if the data table gets converted to json format and that response is being sent so we'll return request dot create response 
and uh, we'll say status code sorry HTTP status code dot ok and we'll simply send our data table is some issue sorry this is http response message okay let's save this and see what happens Okay, so let's call this get method using slash API slash values. Okay, so you can observe that the response is in JSON format. 